Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Zebra Fett review. My name is Matt. My name is Ryan, and today we're going to be reviewing Justice League. Whoa! Yes, the animated movie Justice League War. Directed by Jay Oliva. Right after Flashpoint Paradox. Right. The movie that reset the universe into the new movie. Reset the universe and uh, and was used, I guess, you know, pretty much all the way through Apocalypse War. So, first of all, we'll start with what we liked. Because I feel like there's a lot that we liked. There's a lot that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it had a lot of potential. Yes. Uh, really good stuff. And then there was some stuff in there. I thought really the characters liked. were pretty, like, true to themselves. Like, I thought it was pretty well established with the characters. Sure. Uh, Superman. Except for Superman. Yeah, he was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. We'll cover all the same Yeah. Thing. <laughs> Superman, I don't know what, what it is. It's just um... he, he came in. Okay, okay. So the the introduction of Superman was wrong from the start, man. Just like coming in, like you know, oh, just playing like hothead. Hot yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like he can hear shit. So he, he's listening to Green Lantern and Batman talk, and he doesn't really listen until he says Clark. Oh, you know me. <laughs> Uh, well, let me do a quick scan of your uh, cowl, and oh, it's Bruce Wayne. I'm like, wait a minute. Since he already knows he's Clark, and they've already, you know, he already knows so much about this Kryptonian or whatever, there would be lead lining in there. It would be. Well, no, no, because he he doesn't really know much about him. I mean, because you could see while he's fighting, he's testing stuff. He tested the taser gun. He, tested he did test the taser gun. He, yeah, he's yeah, testing yeah. a lot of things on because he doesn't really. Know I don't know. Him. I mean, he know he knew he was Clark. I mean, you do all that research and you don't yeah, know yeah, anything he knows, about he, him. He knows his alias. And he but knows but that's the powerful. thing is like, every, uh, well, okay, okay. They established this back in the Donnerverse or whatever that. You know, everybody knows that, you know, he got interviewed by Lois Lane and, and one of the things he, he let you know everybody know was that, you know, he has sort of a weakness with lead, you know, as far as like not but, being but, able but to he, he threw the smoke and he even made right. the comment, I can still see. So now Batman knows like oh, okay, he can he, he can see through. And the Flash, so he was really good. You know, yeah, yeah, coming off the, the heels the Flash of and, and how. Those two characters, I like them the most. Yeah, yeah. I like that they they had their own little animated they, Yeah, that would have been really cool for, you know, for them yeah. to have their own little adventure. That's what I want if we ever do get a live action Green Lantern Flash. Like I like like the the smart ass uh, humor from Flash and then the cockiness of uh, Hal Jordan. Yeah, that'd be cool. We don't uh, have that yet, so that'd be cool to see you know Lantern and Flash together. You know, yes, at some point in time. I like Diana. I liked her. I liked her get up and all that. Yeah. You know, it, I uh, mean, the, there was cool. that. I mean, it's before. But I, I like that how she that was. Yeah, yeah, the ice cream. they did. They yeah. did. They they used it. And they were like, I like it so much. I'm gonna use it here. You know, and yeah, it, it worked. Um, I like the ice cream bit, but I also you know I I like the way that she was sort of naive and, and sort of like you know. <laughs> as far as the ways of, you know, civilization or whatever. Yeah. And, and so that was cool. I like that. The only thing that kind of, like, sucked when we first saw this was everything was kind of so abrupt. You know, like yeah, little, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like why was Lantern in Gotham in the first place? Yeah. If Batman was watching Superman's flight yeah, pattern, yeah. why doesn't he know? More why is Superman's flight pattern? Uh, uh, why is he you know battling a, a pair demon in his flight pattern? Yeah, it's weird. I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. I liked how Silas Stone and, and yeah, yeah, and, that was um, the best. I sh had. You know, rapport. <laughs> I liked how they were talking. Shazam you know, already. was already Shazam. Shazam was already Shazam. I did not like that a pear demon was in his backyard. I was like, that's just too coincidental for it well, to be right they're, they're, they're robbing people, right? It's a whole. It's a global invasion. Yeah, in his neighborhood. Everywhere. Right, right. So it's in every neighborhood that that's happening. It's all over the world. So it's in every neighborhood. You've seen how many portals they open. So it's in every neighborhood that it's happening. It's all over the world. It's in every neighborhood that's happening. So is this not a part of the world? No, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not a part of the world. So no. it's only major city. Yeah, major cities would be great. So, so you know the plan for Dark Side. Oh, we're gonna move yes. everyone. Well, well, part of the plans for Dark Side is to go after the, the president of the United States of America yeah, yeah, for some stupid reason. <laughs> <laughs> like we need to go get Air Force One if we're gonna take over this planet. We need to go get that bird. <laughs> <laughs> for dark side for the unity <laughs> you will all love you will me. <laughs> but yeah I don't know I thought, I thought that was kind of ridiculous I did not like okay well, I guess we're going into shit well, <laughs> the United States was one of the things I didn't like. Okay, well, yeah. And Shazam it's, it's fighting in his backyard was one of the things I didn't like. I was like, ah, it's too convenient. I was like, it's just way too, just too coincidental. I didn't like the design of the Parademons. I thought they well, looked the too weird. Huge. Too yeah, yeah, just too, just too huge and too immobile. I don't know. I, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. They just they, look they, weird. They look like tanks. Yeah, they, heavies. yeah, yeah, really, really heavy. <laughs> but I, I didn't. I thought Green Lantern was kind of underutilized with his power. He was. He didn't really. But he also used much. his power very flippant. Like, like, don't you have to recharge this thing? And he was just like, like at the end of the movie, uh, he had this, you know, this thing on his arm oh, for like forever. And I was like, okay, you know, but don't you need to recharge? Little things. But I mean, it was cool. Like, yeah, you know, he, he used he, it as a flashlight in the beginning. Yeah. It was like, turn that flashlight off. They're gonna see. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, it, 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 like they, like they can't see the glowing green guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the flashlight's getting yeah. away. Like, like, turn it off. Oh, they still see you. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't you think of that. In the dark. <laughs> yeah, you go in the dark. <laughs> what are you, some kind of human nightmare? You know? <laughs> I mean, Babbitt even made that comment like, "Oh, at least he's good for cleanup." It's like, yeah, he really hasn't done shit. Yeah, that was that was a good line. Green Lantern was kind of underutilized. I wish he would have got his own animated film. I know Wonder Woman. Yeah, did. yeah. I mean, Superman I, did. I like the solo stuff that they do. You know, yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was awesome. I wish that we would have gotten a Batman v Superman. I would have loved to have seen those two go at it. Yeah, we did. It was really the apocalypse power kind of. <laughs> well, well, I mean, like you know, the traditional story. Sure, sure. I would have loved to. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be like, cool. like, 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 because you've seen him fight. Then Batman didn't really know how to take him down, but then you see it again, and he he just has everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, he has a, a different fight. wealth of knowledge, kind of like in, yeah. in Justice League Doom. They probably were going to so. do that, but they were like, let's wrap it up. Yeah, <laughs> wrap it up. One of the other things that I did not like was how Victor Stone sort of, I guess, got his wrappings it was out of the the thing that he was in it just kind of like warped onto him or whatever you know the uh the bed that he was in or the the chamber that he was in it sort of used that metal to like create and yeah. as he was getting his ass kicked it, he started looking a little bit more recognizable oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Boosh, boosh. oh yeah now you look good you know? squidward like yeah, yeah. <laughs> make him <laughs> squidward again <laughs> yeah hey, he's handsome yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, i like dark oh, I mean, the, the, the same thing I happened like with his, the parody Demons were like when they were getting you know being crushed on them and yes really yes that. And, that, and that was one thing that was actually kind of cool is like you know yes they're both kind of the similar technology or whatever yeah. so yeah I, I, I get that and I, I dig that but just the look of it I, I like the concept of it but I didn't like the overall look of it and really the one right. thing I didn't like was the abruptness of because you see Superman and Batman fighting on Apocalypse and then all of a sudden Superman's fine it's like what, what the hell happened like what, <laughs> what went down <laughs> what did Batman do to get you there there's a four hour cut somewhere yeah, yeah. somewhere else somewhere. And someone's complaining about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't get the four hour cut. Like, hold on, hold on. Let's get Zack Snyder's first. So. <laughs> uh, overall, I, overall, I, I, I would recommend buying the movie. I oh, liked yeah, the yeah. movie. It was a great start. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was good. And, and um, seeing it like you know in, in its full fruition, like the whole like the full arc, the full arc. Ah, full story. Arc. The full yeah. story arc. It looks amazing overall. Yeah, I mean, it. it we definitely own it on Blu-ray, and I recommend you know putting that in your collection if watching you know these animated movies is. is part of your thing. I definitely recommend it over Soul of the Dragon. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And, uh, Highly yeah. recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Watch our review uh, to get to get the uh, our take on that. So, yeah. Yes, it, yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thank uh, we'd like to thank Patreon. our Patreons. Or patrons. Uh, patrons of Patreon. Uh, and subscribers, uh, leave a comment below and um, let us know what you thought of the film. Thanks for tuning in. This is Zebra Fett signing off. Later.